Hey, it's Luke. What we've got today is the Mirror plugin from United Plugins. And uh, let's get this out of the way. Uh, the developer did give me a uh, license of this plugin for the purposes of this review, but I wasn't paid or, or tell, uh, told to say anything or, or uh, anything like that. Everything is uh, my own opinion about this. It's a, actually a great little plugin. I've been looking for something like this for a long time. Um, and I want to do a separate video about this for vocals. Uh, the effect, it to simplify, <laughs> simplify by possibly complicating this, but um, the effect that uh, you look for, for something like this, it's basically a, a reverse, a uh, they call it a reverse negative delay, but um, if you notice in vocals, you'll have the beginning of the vocal, which is like, hey, so you'll often have a sound leading up to it. So it sort of builds as a, hey, um, and this is what it does. But usually what you'll do with that effect is you'll, you'll, you'll have your, your vocal, um, you'll throw a reverb on it, then you'll re reverse the reverb and stick it in front of the actual, you know, of where the vocal starts. So it sort of builds builds into it, um, into that first sound. And I know this probably doesn't make sense. I'll do I'll do a separate video about this. But um, so basically, that's what this this does is it does a, a reverse reverb effect, but it does it in real time, basically real time, but it, the only way to do it is uh, to add lat latency. So let's get right into the plugin and you'll, you'll see what I mean. Like basically when I first started it, I was like, what is going on? Nothing matches. Like when you were playing stuff, the cursor wasn't at the right place, everything. And then I looked and I'm like, what is with this latency? And it took a little bit to realize, okay, that's what it, it actually does this on, on purpose. So what it does is it's basically um, fooling your DAW into thinking that it's in a different spot that it is because it needs to move everything back um, by, in this case, 960 milliseconds. Um, so basically one second. So uh, because we're on a quarter note here. So if we do half note, uh, let's just look here. At, we're looking at the bottom left here. So it, it'll add you know, basically two seconds. So it gets really confusing at the beginning, but once you get through it, um, it's not so bad. And actually what was really interesting with this plugin is they released it and then maybe, I'm guessing like a week later, they actually did an update and they added this here, which is um, the negative toggle on off. So uh, this actually reduce, takes the latency out of it and it just acts like a negative delay, um, but because you don't have, uh, it doesn't have latency. It, it it's not exactly the same effect. But um, if if you just want the the delay part of it, um, you know this you can you can use that. Um, so basically, the beat I have here, let's take it out completely. Is just. A plane. I've got a kick drum going on one, and then the other, and the other one was actually a full loop, and I just uh, threw uh, kickstart out on it and uh, got rid of the, uh, the 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 first part of it. So it's basically. Hold on, we can probably see it here. Um, so I'm just cutting out the the kick drum here. So that's for this loop here, and this one is the the kick itself. So you can tell with the effect going. It's adding a little bit. I don't have the effect on the kick drum. I only have it on the track with the, like the, the top loop basically at this point. So this is with, with nothing. And as we bring in the wet, it gives it a nice little effect, but it doesn't throw it off. Like the beat is still, the beat is still what, you know, what it's supposed to be. You can, you can remove it and hear just what just what, what's coming out of this delay. So you'll usually have a bit of both, but you can tell it gives it a little, uh, it just fills the sound out a little bit more. And then you've got this, the blur here that um, if you're, if you've ever worked in Photoshop or any, any, um, you know, photo apps and stuff um, you'll you know you'll understand blur and it's basically the audio version of that so you sort of tell it just sort of uh, sort of tones it down it sort of it, it makes it a little bit more uh, I want to say sloppy but um, in a good way it just sort of 
hides everything in the back. Um, and then the reverb, pretty obvious. And the, the trim here that basically cuts off the beginning of it. But in this case, um, you know, we're not we're not dealing with the heavy trans transients because I took the, the kick out of that. Um, and then the high pass and low pass, these affect specifically the um, the wet signal. So if we now we're getting a lot of the bass. If you're listening on headphones, you're really feeling the bass now. And then we can go all the way up where actually here. Let me uh, I'm going to solo this and have just the wet signal so you can really have an idea of what it does. So this is this is adding the lows into the the wet signal. This this would be at the highs the same thing if you want to have something a little bit muffled. Which actually this sounds sort of nice. Let's try it this way. We'll remove You can tell it's a little choppy here and there, so let's work with the blur. Oh, this is nice. So let's bring the kick drum. See what see what it does there? If I if I hit solo, you can tell it takes about a second for it to, to pick up. So that takes a little bit to get used to. Um, I think I think what my favorite thing to do with this would be to um, to just you know do it and then uh, freeze it, flatten it. Like you're basically just printing it, so you're and then working with with that one after. Um, so then you're getting rid of your your latency. So let's listen to it this way, and then you'll tell you'll be able to tell here with negative. Um, see. So if I if I hit if I if I take this one off. And it, it responds right away. Um, you probably hear the click of the, the space bar to get to get it going and not, but but uh, anyway. So yeah, I actually like this. I really like the sound of this. What I might do here is I'll throw another kickstart on here, and there we go. I sort of like the. Now it's got this groove going. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I was, what I was going to do is just do it the other way and then just do a little work on, um, on, uh, basically just fine tuning the, the, the exact parts I want out of it. But this is sounding, this is sounding really nice because if we, if we take out, actually we'll leave this one here. So <laughs> you still don't have the, the kick, but so this is with the mirror back on, and I'm realizing now compared to the original one, it's a little bit too much. Let's get the dry signal back up. We can play around here with the with the different. giving it a, a nice little groove. It just seems like it's got a little bit more groove. And there's a whole bunch of uh, presets in here. So we'll play around with a few of them. And remember, this is all with the, the kickstart just to, to tame it a little bit. So it's not going all the time, but it's what it would sound like normally. I think it's a little bit too much, but. You can tell it takes a little bit to respond, and that's because of the latency that's built in. And then these here are the, the reverse reverbs, which is, this is what you'd use if you were using it with the vocal. You wanted it to have, have it lead into the vocal at the beginning. I'm liking the sound of this. I'm going to make it a little bit darker.
That's the interesting thing too. You can take out the whole dry signal and have it have this effect, even if we remove this. It takes a little while before this is going. So if you've got this effect going here, it doesn't sound that great on its own, but it's so weird because you hit, you hit stop, it just keeps playing. Um, you've got this effect here on its own, but what I would do is take take this effect here. Actually, well, let's get rid of this. Uh, we'll get rid of the kick drum. It takes so long. Um, and you take this effect here, and then you can bring it back in. You can print this, take it back in into your track, and do something else with it, right? You can take little bits and pieces and, and break it up, especially if, even if you have a little bit of a, the dry signal going. You might be able to get some interesting clips out of this. So, so yeah, that's the mirror reverse negative delay. Um, it's a really interesting thing to play around with. It's it's basically I don't know. It, it's the concept is relatively simple, but you can do so much stuff with a sound that um, you're not usually able to do with a lot of plugins. And uh, yeah, hope it's useful for you. And we'll see you in the next video.